and just in time because we were concerned we were going to miss a feeding during the course of the day, but it looks like we're going to get lucky. There goes. Oh no. What has happened to my camera? Anyway, how beautiful was that, folks? And in just a split second, she was up that tree. Well done, Brian. Looks like you did a great job capturing that. And how beautiful seeing her up in this marula tree with the sunlight perfectly cast over her body. And this is what we've been waiting for all morning. It's been two and a half hours. Look at that agility. And she may bring it down the tree to feed on it. Or she may reposition onto another branch. The reason why I say she might come down the tree with it is because it's easier to feed on the ground and she knows she can simply hop back up very quickly if she needs to if any hyena or any predators come onto the scene but you can see she's assessing the situation around her now making sure that if any hyena were lurking around they haven't got her attention just yet or they haven't been alerted by her movements and like I say I think she'll continue to just monitor the situation for a few more moments and then come down from this tree Looks like a young stain buck, not fully grown. But I could be wrong and be deceived by the fact that she has already fed on some of the carcass. This certainly was worth waiting for. In perfect timing, I believe Brett wa Brent was just about to leave the lion who were fast asleep, so... The timing worked out incredibly well, factoring that into the equation. Well, frustratingly tapped some button. I'm not sure what went wrong as she started climbing up the tree, so I missed all of that with the camera, which is a little bit frustrating, but I've got a big smile on my face nonetheless because a sight like this is not a common one. much longer will she need to check around to make sure there are no hyena lurking. She's almost standing here tempting any of them. It's like if any of you are here, surely you would have come out by now to investigate the situation more closely. And if nothing does come any closer, she'll then be able to safely assume that she can take the risk of coming down from the tree. They don't always do this, and it's simply because the marula tree that she is in at the moment is not well suited to feeding and or comforts. It's quite thin and lacks comfortable, thick, horizontal branches. Most of the branches are quite angled.
there's a white cloud that's come across the back of the shot which would have made Brian have to possibly change a few settings because there's an initially blue cloud behind her which will have a very different impact on the total overall shot that we've been seeing here it goes Absolutely incredible. And I'm surprised she's moving quite far from the tree because the safest option would it be for her to stay right at the base of this marula tree. Well, isn't this just fantastic? And just bear with me for a moment while I reposition. She stopped and it's not far away, just in a shady little tree. So I think we might even be able to stop right here for now until we see what she does next. But this should work. How are you doing there, Brian? You good? Yeah, I'm good. And what she's doing now is she's trying to pluck the fur from the kill which she can do quite easily it appears it can be a little bit difficult for her to remove the fur from her mouth it's easier for her to remove the fur from her, the animal's body than it is for her to get it out of her mouth so you may see her shaking her head She will continue to do this until there's a clear enough patch for her to be able to start feeding on the flesh. A stronger likelihood of finding her this afternoon in the same place. And you can see her battling to get all the fur out of her mouth. And occasionally when they catch birds, they'll go through the same motion, plucking the feathers from them. Brent, confirm somebody's trying to make their way to the sighting. Okay, copy, thanks. Track down those male lion. And not only has it been a great morning, but great prospects this afternoon. Those male lions shouldn't move far during the day, if at all. So almost a guaranteed sighting for the afternoon drive and evening fairly early and maybe if we're very lucky even raw for us. Interesting reposition. 
that's just made. Excuse me. And as I did just say earlier, it'll be interesting to see how much of this kill she feeds on now. She could well finish it all. This looks of the, the kill last night, and we had have just arrived here this morning. We would assume that hyena have no idea of this kill, and that would be false. And that's because you would, like I said earlier, you would expect them to linger around and come and try and get some tidbits. She's just busy finishing off a leg there, and may only leave. May have decided to hunt for themselves. Who knows? point of the matter is that nothing out here is for certain and you can only assume so much in any scenario that you witness out here. As you can see, she's very, very alert, as she should be. Because it's not only hyena that she'd be concerned about, that could pose a threat to her directly, but more her kill, but other leopard, lion, and wild dog. Meeting up with them could prove fatal, and that is why she needs to be so, so careful. If lion came into the scene, they would be attracted by the scent of the kill. But as soon as they saw the leopard, they would focus more on her and killing her as a competition as opposed to feeding on the kill. remaining blood or liquid in the in the chest cavity. Either that or she was actually licking the meat off the bones. Their tongues are very rough. It can help them to almost sandpaper meat off the bone. But 
every few mouthfuls you have to look around and make sure somebody from one of the surrounding tables hasn't come in to steal your meal. It's kind of the situation she's in. Every few mouthfuls she's... So apparently there's a few viewers who are interested to know where exactly this is all unfolding within, within the Juma property. And for those of you who have access to a road, uh, the, the map network of this area, we are basically south of Dalanites Road, directly kind of midway between Impala Road Junction and Rebecca's Junction. So we in the central part of the reserve on the western part. Central and western. So in terms of north-south we are central and in terms of east-west we are very close to our western boundary, probably a quarter of a mile. So I hope that helps you, give you an idea of where we are on the property. Because I've seen Karula so seldomly, this is quite far away from where I've ever seen her before. I've typically seen her very close to Voyatella Dam on all the occasions that I have seen her. Interestingly enough, myself and Alex saw her on my first morning here, which was November the 23rd. She had killed the baby in Parlour, right outside the final control room. Well, right outside, probably 50 meters away. And had the kill hoisted in a marilla tree. It's actually on the pathway that we walk along from where we sleep to the final control. And it was a bit of a surprise to see the impala kill up in the tree and then look around for a leopard and then see her staring at us. And she effortless, effortless, effortlessly crunches through that bone. And that looks like she's actually gone for that. Yep. But even if she just continues as she as she is now. Great to monitor her progress on feeding through the skill and know whether she actually does finish it before we head off. But we all just monitor how it goes in terms of time.
okay, copy. Thank you. Still quite a considerable portion of meat remaining. And I wonder if she's going to go ahead and finish it all. Every time she's repositioned for feeding, it's always been good for the camera, allowing us not to have to reposition the vehicle. Oh, that must be a terrible feeling of a, having a mouthful of fur. Well, she's used to it, I guess. I think Vuyatella Dam would actually possibly be the closest. And wouldn't it be wonderful if she does make her way there at some point? Because that'll mean she's heading back into the property. Because like I said a bit earlier, at the moment we are very close to our western boundary. Brian, what do you think? Do you think she's going to finish it all now? I reckon. The rate she's going, she'll polish it off. Okay. I tend to agree with Brian. On to the third leg. I'm not sure if there's one more if she fed on one earlier. Possibly last night. Or were they four from the get-go? We'll find out. I just remember, I think when she stood up earlier, it appeared that there was only one leg remaining. On the stand back.
back in the head remaining. This is strong shot. You can consume the whole skull because it does look like in back. Possibly smaller than softer for you know, crush through. Parts of the kill. Sorry, Brian. Very bumpy. Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, sorry. Where did she go? There she is, just in front of us. She's moving at quite a rate and moving in the right direction, thankfully. She is moving in an easterly direction back into Juma. Very tricky conditions to film in, so Brian's probably going to us to try and get into a position where we're stationary before he can continue trying to stay on her but she's just alongside us to the right.